Okay, this is the Lewis and Clark Park. Probably too windy to to hear. I don't know how steep this hill is. Uh, it's pretty smooth, but if it gets too bad, I'm gonna need to uh, stop and use both hands for braking because this is extremely dangerous. Hmm, they did a good job of smoothing this out at least. There's a trail that goes that way. <clears throat> oh yeah. Gotta love these uh, wooden type of things. Here's another garbage can, like like in the old times. I guess they used garbage cans that were wooden. Oh, uh, okay. Passed up some information there. Why are those poles in the water? Now I've been asking that for year, for weeks. Why are those poles in the water? Poles are piling our logs from 80 year old Douglas fir. Yeah, trying to get the logs to the consumer. So, so maybe it was to guide the logs or something. Stiff booms. Dolphins. So they tied the wood to those those pieces of wood that stood up out of the water. Hmm. So the wood pieces that stood out of the water were just simply to serve as some kind of a guide system. Huh. Well, that's interesting. There's a lot of them out there. I thought they were just wasting wood. So I'll take. Oh, there's a there's a canoe traveling the river. So they carved a canoe out of a piece of tree. Five canoes in ten days. How many people took that, did that take? An adsy shaping canoe hull. So they had a specialized tool for that. That's pretty cool. She sprung a leak. Captain William Clark in 1805. Writing in his diaries. Diary of a dead man. So we got sloughs. Muddy, muddy, horrible sloughs that they had to trek through. And if they couldn't trek through it, they tried to uh, ride their boats through, but even that didn't work. I'm sure it didn't work out too well. Probably had to use more poles than, than uh, paddles. Nuttle landing and in one mile. Well, that'll take some time to get to. I suppose I can cut this video off then. How long is it? Five minutes?
three pan. Light pan with just a little dark. If it's completely dark brown, curly hair, all the